the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 gets pictured in the wild. Apple and Nokia post their quarter results to positive numbers, and Microsoft is working on making Windows RT better, if that's even possible. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I'm getting that CES plague once again with the cough. This is Pocket Now Daily. Nokia has just given us a pleasant surprise, but sadly it's both good and bad. Their quarter results are in and, well, they finally brought profits after more than a year of terrible losses, but the bad news is that they didn't make those profits out of Lumia devices, they actually made them out of their Siemens department. So they did double their sales of Lumia devices this quarter, so it does seem that everything is going high peak and Lumia 920 actually deserved that. Now, when it comes to Apple, things are a different story. Analysts have spent days predicting that Apple would not reach their profitability record that they have in the past quarters, pretty much for the past years. And as it turns out, Apple actually did. They broke records and even history records when it comes to profits. They managed to sell 48 million iPhones and 23 million iPads in that quarter, and things are not going down. The only thing that's currently down is Apple's stock, but you know the way that behaves once they bring another product to the market, so you should buy now. Windows RT, on the other hand, hasn't proven to be everybody's favorite operating system. From sluggish performance to initial confusion to lots of bugs, people complained a lot about it. And Microsoft is now letting the public know that they're working on a major update for Windows RT that should come in February, though let's hope they're on their time frame this time. Now, we can't expect anything, we can't tell you anything that's going to be included, but let's hope that Microsoft finally figures this one out. And for those of you that were excited about the leaks of the Samsung Galaxy Note 8, well, we've got recent photographs of the device being available in the wild. People are apparently already testing the device, and to be honest with you, it does look very cool. So this does seem like the perfect segue for a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 to be launched at MWC 2013. So let's hope we bring you some good news. And finally, for the interesting news of the day, Nokia has just released their Maps Plus beta application for all Windows phones, not necessarily just Nokia devices, to bring turn-by-turn -turn navigation to the United States, the UK, and other countries in Europe. The service is actually quite cool. It works quite well on the HTC 8X that I've been testing it on, even though it's not available in my country. But it does seem interesting to see what Nokia is doing. I mean, they offered their map service to iOS recently, eventually Android. Now they're doing this to every Windows phone. It just begs to wonder what Nokia is doing. We know that they're probably considering to drop their hardware division, and that actually leads me to the question of the day. Would you prefer a Nokia that does anything, I mean software or anything, or would you prefer the Nokia that you currently know, the company that provides great smartphones? And in my particular case, I actually would love for Nokia to retain their smartphone business, but leave us a comment down below. What would you prefer? And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.